we will check mass conservation here. Close out of CFD post and go back to the project page. And I will start Fluent from a solution. I can start Fluent from setup or solution. And I will start it from solution because, and that's what I usually do since it loads up the um, the root, you know the values of velocity and pressure at the cell center. So I double clicked on solution to to start up Fluent. And let me maximize this. And to check, you know, mass conservation, go under reports, fluxes, setup, and mass flow rate is is uh, selected by default. And so our four boundaries are inlet, outlet. Uh, pipe wall and center line. So select our four boundaries and say compute. Doesn't give me a result for center line, but that's zero. Um, inlet, you have the, um, the the mass flow rate coming in, and that should be you know the density times the area times the average velocity, which is one. And similarly at the outlet, and you can see, and then you know there's no mass flow through the pipe wall, which is what we expect. And mass going out minus mass coming in is uh, is different by of the order of 10 to the power of minus 11, which incidentally, if you recall, was with the level of the the residuals, the cell by cell mass residual. So that's not not surprising. So we have you know to um, a high degree of accuracy, we have mass conservation. It would have also been nice if we could get you know. If we also had could calculate the momentum flow rate through the boundaries and the forces, and then that way we could easily check that um, that the, the the change in momentum is balanced by the forces on the control volume. Uh, but there's no easy facility to do that, so we won't um, do that over here.